I'm here at the Four Roses private barrel selection room, and today we're gonna do two barrel picks. Tomorrow we're gonna do two barrel picks. Thursday we're gonna do another barrel pick. So five barrel picks on this trip. If you ever wondered how liquor stores do barrel picks, where they go and buy an entire barrel of whiskey, I'm gonna show you. Typically, they're gonna have a group of folks, you know, sometimes employees, they may bring in other outsiders like me, and they're gonna come to Kentucky and they're going to do quite a few barrel picks. I'm here at Four Roses. We're about to do that one. This afternoon, we've got another one. Uh, across the border in Indiana. So let's jump into this Four Roses pick. Four Roses produces 10 different bourbons. What you are going to do today is the barrel strength. Anytime I have all 10 recipes available, you're going to try all 10. In your lineup today, you have one barrel in the eight year range, two barrels in the nine year range, four barrels in the 10 year range, and three barrels in the 11 year range. So the first round is the Eliminator series where we're basically going to eliminate five out of these ten real minutes. quick. If y'all didn't catch the Louisville live stream through a night, we'll never remember. We got a little out of hand. Jill was not there to tap you on the Jill line. was the, there was nobody there to tell me no. Ten may be too many for my style because I'm just like, is it good? Is it not good? And they're all good. I'm just going to randomly start picking numbers. Um, yeah, I'm through five, and number two is my favorite thus far as well. We may just eliminate nine right here. That, that's a way to do it, too. I mean, like, if, if it is, it is. Hey, uh, there's a clear favorite here. There is a very clear favorite on this table right here. I'd be willing to bet money I know what barrel y'all are picking. Although I didn't come up with five to them, I did come up with four. That I think should do it. Three and seven on that. I don't like three and seven. Three and seven are on my list to cut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, seven was totally out for me. So with that being said, what's what's the rest of the outside? Uh -oh. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. You can get fine out at the end. You're on number two? This man ain't been drinking nothing. He's been savoring. Come on, man. <laughs> this is the eliminator, uh, eliminator series. We're not, we're not trying to get to know. He hasn't done barrel picks with me yet. I'm already decided. I, I liked eight, nine, ten. Like two, five, eight, nine. I, I was okay on four, two. I'm good on all of them except for four. Except for four of them. One, one, three, six, seven were my thing. I'm gonna go back to these. We've, we're eliminating. Yeah, that one deserves to be cut. One. The more I go back to three, though, the more interesting. It's weird. There was one that we had last time that was our our second. And it had a little weird thing that we all love. We just didn't know if it would Yeah, if everybody would want it. Yeah, My taste buds are like, I'm out, man. Thank you. They're all good. They all taste like whiskey. That's why I try to pick quick before my taste buds shut down. I mean, we've been here about 20 minutes. We've got a mutiny here. Somebody's trying to keep. You're trying to keep three and six. I'm two, five, eight, nine, and ten. I will just agree with him. I kind of like four two, but I, I've got to get, if I got to pick five, two five, eight nine ten. Yeah. Two eight ten is the top. Three. I think that top ten's three. killing it though. I got three up there. Yo, three three. Wild card. Y'all keep going yeah. back to the three. And there's something in it. That three is a tap room in my nose. But that's wow. also like we drink a lot of whiskey and we're looking for the fun weird things. Yeah. Yeah, three's good, but that's not. I want to sell whiskey too. Right, three, five, one, ten. Left mm. two behind, huh? I will just take them off. Okay, I, you know, whatever he doesn't want. Uh, up. I've already tried that. It wasn't an option. Dude, you're taking my 10 on I love you, Jeff, and I'm telling you. It's the balance. I'm going to die if it's another OESK. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, what are you thinking, Bruzel? I like two. Two's got a little less oakiness on it. Probably not quite as old, I would guess. But, you know, right. it could be T or whatever. But Yeah, we're all hung on two and ten. So, I mean, it's fair enough. Yeah, two is... Mm. Mm. We should all address two and ten and see what. Ten's good, uh, but ten has just a little more. I just get a little more oak. Still delicious though. If you like oak, that's definitely your pick. That three I love. That that was. I like really the three too though. If you're picking for a group or a club, you pick the wild, outlandish okay. stuff. But if you're picking for a liquor store, you need something that's going to sell. Yeah, yeah. Ten feels like a group. Yeah, it does. Two's more yeah. drinkable. Doesn't matter which one we pick, they're gonna sell out. What are you thinking, Dan? Two, between two and ten. Between two and ten, ten. You're a ten. Well, I pick three, but for the business, look, I'm a two, three, ten. You're a two at best. I'm probably a ten, three, two. Right? Is he limited to one barrel? 
Oh yeah. All right, please tell us what number three is. Number three is an O-E-S-O. It's nine years and four months old. Number okay. two is an O-B-S-V, 10 years and four months. Okay. And number 10 is an O-E-S-F, and it's 11 years and one month. 10's the winner? Yeah, 10's got to be the winner, particularly with that age. Number 10. One has been signed, sealed, and delivered. Well, not delivered yet, but that barrel pick is in the book, but that is just the beginning. Should be bottled in July. That one's going to be a spill in July, right? It may not see us till August, September. I don't know. It's, it takes time. That's the thing. You buy these, and then it takes months to get them. But if you want to know when those come in, they'll only be available at Spillway. They're not my picks. They invited me on their picks. We'll hit up the uh, Spillway Facebook page. We'll put the uh, link in the description. Check that out, and uh, it's on to the next pick. Is your bush overgrown? It's not a good look, but don't worry, Manscaped's here to help. Let's be honest, in this day and age, you need every advantage you can get. You can't get ready for game time and the field's not ready to play ball. If you really wanna turn that swipe right into a second night, then you gotta put in a little effort on your grooming. Not to mention, a building looks taller when there's not a bunch of overgrown landscape around it, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's not gonna help you with your natural endowment, but perception is reality. And every man knows that having the right tools makes any job easier. This freaking thing has a light so you can see what you're doing, like how convenient is that never even thought of that but unless you're lucky enough to have a personal grooming assistant or you're some sort of circus freak there are just going to be some areas you're not going to be able to see and going in blind is scary so you're going to need something that's going to be delicate on the delicates now i've been married for 25 years so i'd pretty much get away with anything at this point but you feral guys out there still hunting need to give Manscaped a try. And as a bonus, it comes in this not too discreet packaging because you know you got a thing for the male lady. They've got all sorts of things here for all your personal grooming, not just your delicates. Like you need to get those old man hairs out of your ears. We're gonna be trimming some beards up here in just a minute. With all sorts of ointments, creams and things. If you're a man and you need to look good, they've got you covered. And you can get 20% off at manscaped.com using the code BRUZEL at checkout. As always, links are in the description. All right, barrel pick number two. We are at Huber's Winery Distillery for some Starlight. And this place is like a whole festival going on. There's an ice cream factory over there. We've got uh, kids. There's a farmer's market. There's bus loads of kids. This is a playground right here. And apparently there's some liquor. That's what we're here for, the liquor. Hey, TJ. Hey, TJ, I'm Zach. Nice, nice to meet you, Zach. Hey, come on in. So before we whiskey, we're gonna lunch because they have a full freaking restaurant here. Like what kind of craziness is that? Even though I didn't film any of it, that was a pretty good lunch. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. That was lunch, guys. Oh, it's fantastic. Good. Yeah. So what we'll do is we're gonna pile on these bad boys. So we're gonna do just a little bit of a estate tour around our properties. We're gonna drive by it all, hit the beehives a little bit, and then we're gonna eventually end up at Rick House number two. And that's where we're gonna start our tasting out on that. So if you guys wanna pile on. Rolling Hills are home to most of our Bordeaux and our Napa varieties of grapes. These ponds here not only are koi ponds, but there are also our irrigation ponds. Harvest season for us for grapes isn't until August. All this dead area you see up here about three weeks ago was rye. Strawberry wine is the first wine we ever produced. These guys still got a little bit of time left on. They're already starting to kind of sprout out a little bit. You got some glasses here. We're going to start off with some single barrel bourbons. Going from bourbons, I got a couple double oaks to try. Moving from double oaks, we'll hop into finishing. This first one we're going to try is a spare cane char three toasted head, 12 month air dried wood. Bourbon? Bourbon, straight bourbon whiskey. It's tough to get hot in here. After you get a good nose, a good palate, a good finish, tell me what you don't like about it. I'll give you guys a little hint on this. I have no idea what we're trying today. So the thing is, is that I got about 300 barrels that I picked through on here, and I let you guys kind of drive the ship. Yeah, it's definitely going down hot. Yeah. It's got a lot. Got a Hoosier hug on it. <laughs> yeah, I think a little sweeter would be, that's where I would go. This is. It, this drink's really hot, but it's pleasant. Yeah. But I think if it had a little more, a little more sweetness, maybe that would balance some of that 
oakiness on the finish. It's a Weller barrel. There, there doesn't happen to be Weller in that barrel, does there? No, unfortunately not. It's still a char three, but now it's a char head. So no toasted head on there, trying to alleviate a little bit of that, that peanut characteristic, maybe a little bit of that heat to round off a little more vanilla, maybe a little oh, more yeah. caramel on there. And here's the kicker, the entry proof on this is 118. So it's even higher on there. So it drinks, it drinks a lot softer drinks though. softer for a higher proof. Yeah. yeah. I like this one better. Yeah, this is more, this is more my style here. I feel bad doing this though. Like, I, I know we, you know, we don't, we don't need to drink them all, but like, he's like, just, just, just do that. Just sling it out, which is new for me. This is not, I did, normally you just got to drink it. Same everything through and through, different, basically different tier. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere now. Getting somewhere? Oh yeah, even better. We're actually gonna back down on the char. Up in the air dry, lower in the char. You kind of start abandoning traditional just vanilla and caramel and you start getting layers of fruit, layers of complexity. This one's good. I feel like it's a little too basic though. It sounds like you guys like to lean more towards that higher char three grain profile. This is a char three uh, toasted head three grain bourbon. Second one in this one. Guys, this is Ted, our owner and operator, sixth generation. Hey, TJ. You ever want to test me, TJ, on this, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing around in the generic American whiskey category. And that would be blending like literally bourbon, rye, light whiskey, these kind of whiskeys together come up with kind of a nice complex flavor profile and put it on the market as American whiskey. Every single one of these are experiments also. Now this entire experiment is done next year this time. You're gonna pick uh, a I think so. Uh, what kind of direction you want to be? But over in here is a pretty cool thing. <laughs> Get my close up. So this is VDN, a Spanish orange wine finish. You like that one? It's very yeah. nice. So it's only going to be about 15% of the barrels for the chocolate malted bourbon. That just gets better. Yeah. Like I, honestly, for me though, the, the chocolate tends to go away after a few tastes. Like my, my palate kind of numbs to it in the citrus. Yeah, and I prefer the orange. This is our brand new Olorosa Sherry finish bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think of that one? Pretty delicious. Still on that orange. Yeah, the VDN's good. I do like this Oloroso though. You have to. I like the Oloroso too. Yeah, I do VDN like that. a lot of rich tones on the back end. Yeah. But you can get an Oloroso. That orange is just, no, it's yeah. just different. It's yeah. yeah. And this is a rye finished in? Uh, an Applejack like brandy. Okay. I mean, that's good. It's not what I, it's not what I'm drinking normally, but it's good. The five, the five, I, you definitely the taste that apple. This is the last rum agricole. Rome Agricole is the home, first like, okay. press of the sugar cane. Okay. Oh, wow. You want to split that one, I'll do it. We are done here at Starlight. Obviously, I'm tagging along on somebody else's barrel picks. That's what we're here for. We're here to build relationships. And some of these, like Four Roses, they're like, you know, they're, they're here for that barrel. If that barrel's allocated for them. But then Starlight's like, hey, whatever y'all want to do, let's just do it. I like the folks who, set, like, it's fine. Four Roses is cool. Great whiskey. They set up the 10 samples. But we come into Starlight here in the Rick House and we pop barrels. Like they'll just take any barrel and open that sucker up and allow us to try it. I ended up buying, and I didn't film all of this, but I ended up buying four barrels of whiskey while I was here. We've got a bourbon that is fantastic. Honestly, it tastes like a Four Roses. We got a uh, rum agricole finished bourbon, which is really, really nice. And then we've got some bourbon finished. I don't even know what the frick that's finished in, but it tastes like orange and chocolate. It was a really weird combination, but it's fantastic. And then I just bought a rum barrel that is actually finished in Weller barrels. So it's rum that's been sitting in a Weller barrel. And if you gave me that, I wouldn't even peg it as a rum. I would think it's some sort of finished bourbon. So it's got the sweetness, but I would have said it's a bourbon and the sweetness comes from the finish, not necessarily the, the kind of Weller finish on it. Those are going to be fantastic. Honestly, patrons, the best way to get those because they're not going to be a ton of barrels. They sell their finished stuff in half barrels. So they're only going to be like 120 bottles or so. The full barrel, we should get 200, 250 bottles out of that. That stuff should be available here in a couple of few months. Again, patrons, the best way to know about those. Second, 
is going to be Discord or the mailing list that we got linked into the description. We are done here at Starlight. We are going to go hang out, chill out. And then tomorrow we got two more barrel picks to do and then one the day after. This was a really, really fun day. I've had a good time. Starlight's my jam. And back with McCormick again. Can't back with this guy. If y'all don't remember this guy from the Kentucky Derby and the uh, Louisville bourbon hunting video. Anytime I come to Louisville, we got to hang out with McCormick here. It's been a good time. Day three is underway. We are picking a barrel of Willet. A little rainy. We're here at a law office. Apparently, you don't pick the barrels at the distillery anymore. You come here to pick them. I'm not sure they're going to want us to film this. I was told they may, they may not be okay with us filming. So I'm going to ask and what they say will determine whether or not y'all get to see any of this. But you see what it's like, right? We're going to try a bunch of samples and we're going to come out with a barrel. But regardless of whether they let us show it or not, I'll tell y'all about it here in just a minute. Apparently, we were in the wrong place. We got the wrong address. We hope we're just barely in the wrong place and we're not supposed to be at the distillery. Right place. We're in the haunted mansion here. Death lurks around every corner. All right, so we're in a house setting. Y'all get an idea of what this looks like. We're gonna be doing exactly what we've been doing. We're gonna be tasting whiskeys and we're gonna pick a barrel. We'll catch up with y'all here in just a little bit. We ended up doing a pick and they gave us a lot of nice bourbons to try. We got a 10 year Willet purple top right here. This guy's gonna probably come in at 125 plus proof. We'll see when it's actually bottled. Really, really good bottle. And we're gonna do some fun stuff with the release of this one. We're probably gonna have an event at Spillway. They may allow me to buy a couple of bottles. I'm probably gonna give one to a patron if we do that. We may allow somebody to get to the front of the line if you do some stuff like like Spillway's Facebook page. But we'll announce that here in the near future. These should be out in like three or four weeks from the time we're actually filming this and picking this. And it takes us a couple of weeks to get a freaking video out. So these could be coming out any day now. Make sure you're liking the Spillway Facebook page and check out our shorts because we're going to do something with this particular bottle right here. And the next stop here is Peerless. We had a little problem. We're supposed to have an appointment and Peerless didn't know we're coming. So we're working through that right now, but it looks like we're going to get that rectified. We're going to get back there to buy a barrel with four roses like that's super highly hard to get we couldn't buy one spillway got that one starlight on the other hand let us buy all sorts of weird things in this morning with willet that's just theirs we don't have the clout to pull a willet barrel at this point but i'm hoping here we might actually be able to grab a bruisal pick or two as well a little smaller distillery a little more accessible barrels if we can't do one now i'm pretty sure we'll be able to do one at some point in the near future let's go check out peerless i think they're working it out trying to. The person who's supposed to handle everything on vacation it might make a video of my Oh, it's gonna make the video. It's gonna be a, y'all don't have the clout to pull a peerless pick video though. <laughs> Well, we got some good bourbon samples, chill filter, charcoal filter, everything's barrel strength. The good thing is what you taste in these bottles is exactly what gets bottled up for you. That one will go in your first glass all the way up to the left. To the left? Okay. Yes, okay. sir. I have three different samples, one, two, and three. They'll label right there on the side, and it's underneath your glasses right there, too. When it comes to the barrel program, I try to select barrels that are very different, unique, and very off profile. There's not a lot that I put in that's very on profile for a small batch. This is one thing I do with you already. Give you a warm up whiskey before you start. Ooh, yeah. Your number one is always like, oh, I don't like Yeah, it. I agree. A warm up whiskey is always. Yeah, that's the only And a comparison to the base product. That being said, I do like one. I want to three. Yeah, it's definitely between one and three. Mm -hmm. yeah, two, two to me. I'm eliminating two. Yeah, I was just about yeah. to say. I'm ready to knock two out of them. Probably like one and one and one. Over. Dan, what are you thinking? You gotta be nice to him on the camera too. I gotta be nice to Dan on camera. I've already been accused of being mean to Dan. I'm thinking three. You're thinking three? See, I, I like three. Three's got a little more. A little more to it. Yeah, a little more. I mean, one's good. A little one's more oakiness, soft, a little more. Sweet, approachable. I mean, one's good. I'm not not hating on either of them, but I'm completely agreeing with Dan and not just because. I've been accused of being mean to Dan on the live stream. It is because he's right. The one is solid. One's gonna be like, again, it goes back to, are you picking a bottle to sell? Are you picking a bottle to drink? Cause one's gonna be, like it, there's nothing offensive about one. Yeah, yeah. one won't sit on a shelf. Yeah. Very approachable. But three's got that 
Yeah. If, if, if it was there's a personal little, thing, I'm gonna go three. Yeah, I know that's where I'm going. If well, I'm you sell it, I gotta go with one. You buy one, and then if they'll sell it to me, I'll buy three, and then we'll have them both, and we'll drink them. Unfortunately, I was told I can only do one barrel. Damn it. I want three, but I think we need to sell one. Drop them all one time, come in, come get them, and go sign. Which is a weird place to be for me, because I'll, you know, if you watch the channel, you know, I feel like signed bottles are stupid. So it'd be really fun to sign a bunch of bottles. We're number one for sure. I like that. But this one's a six year old. No promises, because I'll have to talk to them first. I'll put a hold on this one, uh, number three. Um, and if they approve two barrels, no problem. But it's still funny that we don't have enough clout to get a barrel. We gotta get that clout up. So y'all like, subscribe, do something. Like, help me get the cloud up. Share the video out to somebody. Maybe when we get clout, we'll come back and get a beer. Y'all want to try our gift shop stuff. Right? I want so. the double oak ride. I want the absinthe fish. Yeah, I'm not drinking that crap. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Peerless double oak ride. This just came out uh, back Oh, in that is expensive. This is, this is our new single barrel it's stick. Open. Up front, freaking fantastic. It's a bourbon barrel called Ooh, Brunch. Brunch is pretty good. It's pretty good, but I still like the uniqueness of the number one you like. Hey. I like what you did there. Yeah, he's selling you on your pick. Yeah, y'all yeah, did better than that one. Actually, hold up. Are you gonna hear something crazy about the barrel y'all picked the brunch? Yeah. See it's serial number on the bottom of that one? Yeah. 0418 116. Sister brother. 0418 117. Sister brother. Same day. Sitting side by side. Sitting side by side. That's freaking crazy. You see how I use Sister Grill? That's, that's a term I learned like just a minute ago. Well, now, like, <laughs> now I act like it's mine. Let's go find those barrel out there in the good factory. How did we get one serial number away from their barrel? Bad luck. I mean, it's gotta be good luck. That's a gusher. Go whiskey all over my shoes. Luckily, they're worn out. That's a good touch. Yeah, that's we a good haven't touch. Been able to do that yet. That's the first time somebody's given us a sample. Really? Y'all want to take some of our uh, white dogs, like what we actually come up with still as? And twist the angle, yeah. Right. <laughs> twist the <my> angle. <laughs> I don't think that's the phrase. This is kind of like an aggro room. That's really good. Really I'd like, buy that all day. All right, we got that barrel of Peerless down. Uh, we are done till in the morning when we hit bullet. We didn't have the clout to pull off a barrel here. He's actually reserved that barrel that I liked. And he said, we might, I just need to talk to some people. We might be able to pull this one out. So it's a, it's a wait and see at this point as to whether or not we can have a Bruzel Peerless barrel. That is four barrel picks down. It feels like a lot more because Starlight yesterday was more than four barrels. I'm gonna hit Justin's House of Bourbon. We may film a little bit of that. Change of plans, we got delayed 15 minutes. Quick little stop at Rabbit Hole to see if we can find a distillery only release. I'm such a sucker for Rabbit Hole. I really don't want to $650 bottle of whiskey. It's gotta be so precious. Got us a nice little bag here. Picked up a barrel aged cigar. Day three and we are here at Bullet. It has been a long three days. Yesterday in particular was an awful lot of high proof alcohol. We'll see again if we could film in here. There are really two types of distilleries I'm finding. There are those that'll just open up the Rick House and let you do whatever. And there are those that don't really want us to share too much. And it really boils down to in this industry, apparently a lot of people get jealous. And if you happen to do something one way for somebody and the next person comes in, doesn't get it exactly like that, they tend to get upset about that. So they're you know, a little cautious as to what we uh, do and do not show. And we don't want to get anybody in trouble. We don't want to make anybody mad. So we'll show you all what we can throughout these, but give Bullet a try.
TJ. Nice to meet you, TJ. Would you like to do the, the selection or we yeah, want to do them? Yeah. All right, well, we'll chat and sip on it and have a good time. I have four barrels in front of me. You can have me kind of go through these and talk through them through, or you would like to do them blind. Yeah, we'll blind. Whenever you're all ready. Just make sure I look good on this YouTube video. I would agree, one and four. With that said, I think I prefer two and three, though. Two's a little heavier than three. I got three is my favorite. Four is my the one I think is still the best. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the barrel to buy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, three's my favorite. Three's pretty delicious. Three's the one. Three's good. Three's good. Three's good. Yeah, I think we, I think we should get three. Well, I will tell you that's my favorite out of all of them, too. Yeah. I mean, four is very palatable and easy drinking. Right. But man, I mean, I, I want some flavor. I like that. We all agreed on three? I believe so, yeah. yeah. Goodness, Chris is the fastest pick I've ever done. When you picked as B3, it is 36% rye. Right. You guys were spot on. You just start cheers in, and we're passing around the table, so we all get everyone's attention. And then once we all have everyone's attention, everyone's heads at the table, you cheers and say, Cheers. Sure, cheers. And we are done here at Bullet. So that's a wrap. That is a wrap on all the barrel picks. You got four, five barrels? Yeah, I think so. Five barrels. And we were able to pick up four for the brew crew from Starlight. Well, I am ready to get Maggie, hit the freaking road, and sleep in my own bed for a little while. Man, looking forward to that. But these will be available. I, our barrels will we'll drop in Discord. We'll drop them to our patrons when they're ready. Spillway, you want to sign up for their Facebook page if you want to know when those are going to be available. That, I assume that's the best way. Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Spillway Wine and Spirits. That's the best way. And we're probably going to do something special when that Willet Purple Top comes out. So stay tuned for that one. We'll catch up with y'all in the next video. It'll be real cool. It's going to be fun.